Ohio State, Ohio State professor exposed as Chinese operative faces jail time after conviction. So if you don't think that the Chinese fascistic state has not thoroughly infiltrated American institutions, not so coincidentally, ones controlled by the party, the DNC, like academia and academia and the DNC are one. Academia marches lockstep with the DNC, I can assure you. And they will enforce DNC orthodoxy on everyone, and they have multiple firings and uh, even, even college kids that have lost their, well, basically, but they, they pay for college and then they're kicked out of college. Uh, and that, that is done when, when you fail to meet the DNC orthodoxy. So the, the, the academia and the party are one. It's very, very Chinese Communist Party kind of centered. So it makes sense that they'd be harmonized with the Chinese because they're using their model. Uh, they're not exactly, by the way, I want to make it clear, they're not exactly, they're not communists, they're not Marxists, they're something else, but neither are the Chinese. Whatever words they want to use, they're something else, and I don't exactly know that we have a word to describe what it is that the Chinese are and the, and, and the DNC Americans are, if you want to call them Americans. I think it's an abomination to call the DNC Americans. Uh, but they're, they're, they're something sort of fascistic, sort of communistic, but not really. Uh, they have more in common, I would say, with uh, purit 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 puritanicalism on the whole, because they use largely a very, very specifically defined code of moral supremacism to browbeat humanity into submission. So they're a little bit different, but still, on the main, China and the DNC... They're using the same patterns, and I'm not sure who learned who from what. I think the DNC mostly learned from the Chinese. Uh, anyway, from the Washington Examiner, Ohio State professor jailed for three years for lying about Chinese funding. And I'm going to go to the article here. We'll go a little bit deeper into this here. And this is from Washington Examiner, as I said it. I think I said that. If I didn't, I just did. A former professor at the Ohio State University who had pleaded guilty to making false set... Gee, Zooey. How many pop-ups do you want to give me, Washington Examiner? All right. Calm down, son. Slow your roll. A former professor at the Ohio State University who had pleaded guilty to making false statements to federal authorities related to concealing his financial ties to China while receiving funding from the National Institutes of Health was sentenced to more than three years in prison on Friday and was ordered to pay millions in restitutions. Song Gu Zheng, formerly a leading immunologist and rheumatologist at the Ohio State University and Penn State University. Oh, man, I, that's my sort of alma mater. I've, I've taken more than a few classes there, so sort of my own monitor, received 37 months behind bars at, at Penn State, by the way, not Ohio State. Well, 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 you know what? Look at this. Ohio State, Penn State, if you're into college sports at all, I used to be. I'm not into sports anymore for reasons. I think most of you could probably figure out what the reasons are. Uh, but when I was, Penn State and Ohio State, I mean, that's, 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 that's fire and vinegar right there, man. You don't mix them two. So right away, this guy was in trouble. How do you go from Ohio State to Penn State or back and forth? No, 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 no. That's, that's, not, that's not right. Anyway, so he received 37 months behind bars, and the judge also ordered Zeng to pay more than $3.4 million to the NAH and roughly 413000 to the Ohio State University. Zeng was arrested in July 2020 while apparently trying to flee to China after he illegally received more than $4 million in grants from NIH while he concealed his affiliation with China's talents plan at Sun Yat-sen University, and he pleaded guilty in November 2020 to lying to investigators about what prosecutors called an immunology research fraud scheme. In yet another case involving the Chinese government's Thousand Talents program, Song Gyu Zeng will spend the next 37 months at a federal prison because he chose to lie and hide his involvement in this program from U.S. research funding agencies. John DeMars, the assistant attorney general to the, for the Justice Department's National Security Division, said Friday. And uh, that, there's not much more to say about that. This is going to be a short little segment here because I think that speaks for itself. So, yeah. American academia and the Chinese state, well, they get along. They get along really well. And uh, it's not a surprise that he was uh, prosecuted before the DNC took power. I'll just say that. Although, to be sure, don't get me wrong. 
There's a dialecticalism going on here. So the DNC will prosecute and arrest some Chinese spies. And the DNC will do things that will say, no, 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 see, they're, they're against China. See that? What are you talking about? They're not aligned with China. Well, the DNC and the Chinese are both, uh, they both fundamentally believe that they hold the keys to a finite code of human properness. And they have a, a right, nay, a duty to destroy any dissenters that get in the way of them creating their, their heaven on earth. And uh, so, well, so they they both view the other as maybe a useful ally, but in the end, neither one wants to see the other standing. So they will work against each other while they're also working with each other. And, and that actual reality is very, very... Uh, very much the, uh, the, the the fashion of the day around the world with multiple factions, whether they're nation states or otherwise, that find themselves in one sphere working with someone and in another sphere working against someone. It's a it's a tangled mess out there, and yeah, I guess I'll just leave it at that. <laughs>